Welcome back. This is a follow-up video on the cutting flanges video I did. After we cut the flanges it turns out that it was slightly oversized so what we ended up doing is we made a jig with these little dowel locating pins where the flange fits on. And this is just to secure it to the jig which has been cut to the correct size and then we use a router bit that is a straight bit with a bearing on top and this bearing runs on the jig as a guide wheel and cuts your job to size. Once we finish all these up we're going to be doing the deburring. The deburring is a slightly different router but it's a got a curve on it just to take the sharp edge off it's also got a guide bearing that runs alongside your job this time we don't need a jig and um, this is also a fairly quick and easy process to do so I've inserted these dowel pins into the table and this will serve as locating pins for the flanges so once we put the flanges all in they all line up to the same position every time that was just the easiest way for me to do it. I'm sure there's different ways you can do it by clamping and using all sorts of other methods, but this was just by far the easiest for me. So now once we have them all in place, I can start machining the pockets. Thank you for watching, in my next video we'll be doing some 3D printing, so please like and subscribe.